MUT News. Yeah, this is Commander Weber with the Week in Review for April 7th. Our top story, some Bud Light drinkers are big mad at Anheuser-Busch for partnering with trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney and releasing commemorative cans celebrating trans culture. Among those triggered by the partnership, Kid Rock shot at cases of Bud Light with a semi-automatic rifle, and Travis Tritt announced that he would no longer have any Anheuser-Busch products on his latest tour. That last announcement comes as a particularly harsh blow, as Tritt expects positively dozens of fans at his next several concerts. And with Bud Light going what those over 65 call woke, it looks like hillbillies are slowly being dumped by their own culture, from NASCAR's gay pride last year to Ford rolling out electric F-150s, and now this. It's a good thing this particular crowd doesn't believe in cancel culture. Now they can go back to making fun of those snowflakes who get so easily up in arms about the littlest shit. In other news, according to an Axios article, the new owner of Pornhub is reported to have plans beyond porn. Now listen, people who go to a gas station probably need gas. And like if you go to a hospital, chances are you probably need some medical care. So what could patrons of Pornhub possibly want? You know, there's just some things that don't need any field research. And finally, a pilot in the middle of a South African flight realized there was a deadly cobra in the cockpit with him when it slithered against his bare skin. Rudolf Erasmus diverted the plane immediately to the nearest airport for an emergency landing, and the passengers disembarked without incident. When reached for comment, Samuel L. Jackson said, (laughs) You ready for this? He said, Wow, what a level-headed pilot. Kudos to that man. Good job. Hey, this has been Commander Weber with your motherfucking week in review. Please join me right here every Friday where I will do the same motherfucking thing for all the week's most important motherfucking stories. In UT News, you hear it first.